This tutorial will demonstrate how to implement a leaflet app into Next.js. You should be able to scroll around, zoom in and out by the end of it. So to begin, inside your terminal, you want to create a brand new Next.js app by typing in this command. Um, if you have npm, you can do npm create as well. I have already ran it, but it will ask to name your project and it will build it for you. And then once that's all done, you can go inside of your project folder. I called mine React Leaflet. And then you can open it up in a code editor. And then once that's open, let's do a split window. And then open up a new terminal. Change this to yep, new git bash terminal. And let's start up the new server to see if our basic Next.js app template works. So I'll run yarn dev. And then it should be running on localhost port 3001 and if I hit refresh we should get the generic Next.js template. So now that that is working let's begin installing the necessary packages needed to do the implementation. So first off we will need to add leaflet which is a dependency of React Leaflet, which is a React wrapper around Leaflet. So we add both of those packages, and then in the meantime, we can create a new folder and call it components, and then create a new map component called map, and then get a couple of files prepared. We will do the index.js which will be to access the map component. And then the actual meat of the map component, we'll create a new file called map.js. Now that we have both of those, we can do um, OK, let's start up our server again. Now that we have the packages installed, and let's in our map component js let's import a few stuff we need such as leaflet bash leaflet css and then we want to also import map container from react leaflet as well as tile layer the map container will be the container for our map, and then the tile layer will actually display the um, map tiles that are served from openstreetmap.org, which you will see later in this video. And then if we do create a new function, call that map, and then inside of the return statement, let's create the map container tag, and within it, let's create a tile layer tag. So OpenStreetMaps actually provides free map tiles as it is open source as long as you provide attribution. So we'll actually do something like that and then paste that in. And it's basically a URL to where they host all the map tiles. And it will display that into our React leaflet component. And then within map container, we'll do center to create the center of the map when it loads. And then it takes in a latitude and long longitude coordinate. So we'll just do the 52.505 and then negative 0 0.09. And then the initial zoom value, 
and then we can just set that to 13. And then there's also another characteristic that you can change called scroll wheel zoom. And then this is if you want to be able to scroll in and out of your map with the mouse wheel. So we'll set that as true for now. And then let's, inside of the pages.index, let's import our, our map component. So we'll do import oh, map. And then right under, right above the div right here, let's place in our map component. So right here, we'll just type in map and then see what happens. Hit refresh. And you see that it says window is not defined. And that is because um, right now it is trying to do server side rendering and the window, I guess object, does not ex exist in the server side. So what we have to actually do is disable server side rendering for our map component. So Next.js has a handy way of doing that. We can just import dynamic inside of the index of our map component and then import that from Next.js and then create a new variable called const map, set it equal to dynamic, dynamic, uh, did I spell that right? I think I did. And then we want to import map component, uh, import map, comma, and then we want to disable server side rendering for this map component. So we'll set it to false and then export it out. So instead of um, calling this map component directly, we'll just call this one and then it should take the index of the map component folder and disable server side rendering for the component. So if we do that instead, we just do the map folder. It should automatically take the index. And if we hit refresh, we will see that we don't get the error anymore. And that's because it's working. It, the map is there. It's just we haven't applied any CSS to it. So it's probably just really tiny. And we need to make it bigger. So what we can do is let's import. Um, we can import styles. So if we can find that folder, styles-home.module.css, and it should be somewhere here. Yes, this one. And we can add some CSS for the map component. So let's call this home map, or just call it map, I guess. And then we could set the width Set the width, uh, width to a hundred percent, and then we can set the, oops, set the height to forty rem. So let's apply this to our map component up here. We will, right here, we'll add a class name. get equal to or let's import styles as or is that, is that how you import import style oh that's python let's import style from oh, I can't type there import style from and then what we can do is Pass in style and then 
pick the map. And if we hit refresh, we should get the map to appear. And for some reason, it is in the wrong place. So let's head back over to index.js. Take that, put it outside of the div, paste it back in, and then look at that. You should be able to zoom in and out and pan left and right, up and down. And yeah, that's essentially how to add the leaflet map into Next.js. You can play around with the different uh, public APIs the different components have, such as the zoom. You can change the zoom. So if you save that and hit refresh, it will zoom out more. But if you put a higher number, like 15, hit refresh, it zooms in really close. So you can make it dynamic in that matter. You can also change the uh, center. So put different lat latitude and longitude values. And then that's how you center the map in different locations. Like right now we are in Africa. And then you can set this to false. And now, or hit refresh after. Now zoom is disabled as you can see. So you can just force users to use the plus or minus zoom, or I think double click zoom is enabled, but there is an API to disable that as well. It is all in the React leaflet documentation, but other than that, yeah, um, that's the tutorial. In the future, I'm planning to create another tutorial on how to have your own layers and adding GeoJSON, other tile layers. So comment below what kind of other tutorials in Next.js and React Leaflet you want to see.